Yeah, that's right. Well, I got a question for you. Are you suffering from weight gain, depression, anxiety, sexual dysfunction, or extreme fatigue? If those symptoms sound familiar to you, it's possible that you could be among the nearly 59 million people in the U.S. who suffer from thyroid issues. Dr. Rob is in the house, and he's, he's got tips uh, for you to help you with your thyroid. Um, that's he, a lot of people. Yeah, he really is. 59 million people, and I know a lot of folks, that even right here in the Miami Valley, affects those folks here. Um, and Thousands. unfortunate, yeah, and unfortunately, we, we, we've got to find a way to combat it. You've got some tips. I do. I do. And what's really interesting is most people don't even realize that they have a thyroid disorder because it can be just a minimal one, just yeah. a slight one where their thyroid hormone is slightly off, but yeah. it leads to all kinds of tr tr trouble mm -hmm. where they get weight gain, dry mm -hmm. skin, brittle nails, start losing the outer third of their eyebrow, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They're fatigued all the time. They don't want to exercise. They might even actually be constipated. Yeah. Or they could have diarrhea if it's the other way. Or sleeping, right? That's yep. got to be... That's Sleeping's a big one, too. So a lot of people, they want to sleep all the time. Of course, if you have overactive thyroid, then you want to be up all the time. You're nervous and yeah. jittery. Can so, I ask you real quick, though? What This this may be a dumb question, but I just want everyone to catch up with us. What is a thyroid? Well, thyroid is a gland right here in your neck. And it secretes very important hormones that are responsible for numerous metabolic processes throughout the body. Mm -hmm. So without it, you can't live a normal, healthy life. Okay. All right? And so one of the things that I talked about is like, hey, you really need to know your numbers. You need to know your TSH. You need to know your T3 and your T4. A lot of times, I see patients come in, and their doctor maybe only ran their TSH. Yeah. I say, well, it was in the normal range. And I'll say, hey, what was your T3, the metabolically active part of the hormone, yeah. that we need to know where is that at? And I personally like to see that T3 level between 4.0 and 4.5, mm -hmm. and then I know you're getting enough T3 at the receptor level so that you can feel energized and youthful and have plenty of energy to go throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So if you're with your doctor, you're, you, you might want to request, um, request having these numbers, right? The complete thyroid profile, the okay. T3, the T4, and the TSH. L let's go back to the symptoms real quick for those just uh, catching up with us. So the first one is fatigue, of course, Very if you're common. feeling that. The next one is weight change. Um, you might be suffering from that. Of course, we have the scale that we brought here that yeah. uh, a lot of people Love-hate that one, huh? <laughs> Love -hate relationship. Yeah. But a lot of women will come in and they'll say, you know, I don't know what's going on, but in the last 30 days, I've yeah. gained 10 pounds. I'm tired all the time. My hair's falling out yeah. and my skin's getting dry. Guess okay. what? Thyroid. What about muscle aches? Muscle aches and pains, joint pain you can get as well. Uh -huh. That's very common. And one of the things you need to do is actually get out there and exercise. Mm -hmm. I know it can be difficult to do, yeah. but light to moderate exercise, get out and have a nice walk in this yeah. beautiful sunshine that we have today can help invigorate the body. You mentioned skin and hair, too. That can be a uh, skin and hair. symptom as well. Something happened with very that. Very much so. And a lot of women will come in complaining, saying, hey, my hair just started falling out. It's getting thinner. It looks patchy thyroid uh -huh. disease. And okay. Very common to see low underactive thyroid right. and a little bit of T3 over time helps stimulate things and you can get your hair back. And then menstrual changes as well. Yep. See a lot of menstrual irregularities with women. They'll mm -hmm. start saying that she's, it used to be, you know, a really regular. Now all of a sudden it's changed. Yeah. And then the mood changes, of course. Uh, and that's a big that's one. The biggest Some one. people get anxious with too much thyroid. Other people feel depressed. Yeah. Now, but real quick, before we go, we, we said this earlier, this can all be solved by yeah. one simple pill, according to you, Dr. Rob. Yeah. No, a good thing to do is make sure that you're eating healthy. Okay. Right? Plenty of proteins, carbs, and fats. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're getting regular exercise, appropriate vitamins. I am a fan of salt, not table salt, right? Okay. But salt with minerals in it, yep. like the sea salt, right? Okay. Uh, ionized salt. Right. So you can use certain vitamins that can help with that. Mm -hmm. But if that doesn't do it for you, then going on a simple pill, one of these one teeny little pills. Yeah, those called are so thyroid, right? Uh -huh. Just imagine just one little pill. Makes that all go away, all just go like away. that. Yep. You want to go ahead and see your uh, personal uh, doctor if you, mm -hmm. you do uh, have any of those symptoms that you've seen from Dr. Rob. Of course, he's got some excellent tips for you. You can always visit more on him at americasfitnessdoctor.com. Uh, thanks so much for coming on and sharing. Good to be here as always. And boosting our mood that we needed. Hey, a lot of folks are buzzing.